Hello everybody, Brandon here. Uh, I wanted to um, break from my earlier live stream where I was kind of uh, frustrated and depressed and, and not in a great mood, uh, which I deleted it by the way. I, I don't feel like there's a whole lot of value in leaving it up there. Um, I will say before I get to the rest of this video, I'm um, going through some trouble with my, uh, my work as of recently where uh, I'm just really not getting the hours that I need. Um, <clears throat> And, uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to fix that in one way or another, which may ultimately end up mean that I have to get an extra or a replacement job, which is very stressful for me, and I don't really want to do that. But, you know, I'm going to have to do what I have to do. Um, in the meantime, if you are um, someone who is able to and would like to, <coughs> I, would, uh, I would very much appreciate any kind of support that anyone would be willing to to give me. And again, I, I stress the able to part, because if you're doing uh, a, a rough stint of your own, if, if you're having any kind of financial troubles, please do not worry about that, because I will feel, I think, worse if if I, if I get money from somebody, but I find out that it's like very much to their detriment in their own situation. I would feel very bad to hear that. So um, please, you know, obviously take care of yourself first. If you're able to, I would absolutely uh, fully appreciate that. And if you would like any kind of shout outs or, or acknowledgement, um, please let me know. Uh, if you would like to help me out, by the way, I'm going to leave a link in my uh, description because I don't know how to set it up through YouTube uh, at this particular moment anyway. So if you want to help me out, um, it's going to be through the, the PayPal link that I'm going to put in the uh, description. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, sorry about that. We're, we're going to get back to the the topic at hand here. Um, so I was uh, just kind of chilling, and uh, every every now and then I like to go to the, um, the you know the store tab on Steam, and if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see you've got the discovery queue. Um, I'm sure most most people who have Steam probably already know about this, but um, you know it'll 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 just pull like 12 games that exist on the storefront, and it'll present them to you, so that uh, you can kind of like you know, sort through them like, uh, oh, add to wish list, like this looks cool. Or just, you know, next in queue, you can you can even ignore shit. Um, <clears throat> so I just pulled that up, really not expecting anything interesting, because a lot of the times there isn't. It's just like all this like garbage and occasionally like weird scammy looking games and stuff will, will pop up and, and <laughs> that can be kind of funny sometimes. But um, totally to my surprise, the very first thing in my queue tonight was Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, which um, I fucking love the first game. It took me very much by surprise um, because uh, I didn't play it when it came out. I, I, I waited uh, kind of a long time before I eventually got around to playing it. And once I got a little bit in, <clears throat> fell in love. Uh, absolutely adore that game. <laughs> And I thought, <laughs> very recently, because uh, I, I got into it, like I said, like recently, like I think even just this year, I don't think it was even technically last year. So within the like last four months is when I finally got into it and, and really fell hard for it. I fucking love that game. So <laughs> imagine my very pleasant surprise when I'm thinking to myself, God, I would love uh, a follow up, right? Um, regardless of what that meant, I didn't necessarily care if it was directly following up the story and characters of the first game, uh, even though, like, I, I love that and I'm fine with that, um, but I was just thinking, like, if they made another game in the same type as Kingdom Come, maybe with a different setting or something, uh, that would be just as good to me. Um, <clears throat> so they're doing a sequel to the, the game, um, and, you know, obviously, like, they've got, like, a little bit of video going and, and, you know, it's hard to fully... Uh, anytime you see like a trailer or edited gameplay footage or whatever, it's it's hard to get like a firm grasp on what you're looking at. Sometimes is like, how's it gonna feel to play it moment to moment, right? I I fully trust these guys. I think, um, which maybe you should never do when it comes to the video game industry, uh, especially like nowadays. But um, I really do. I'm putting I'm putting a, a bit of trust in them because they really blew me out of the fucking water. Um, with how much I enjoyed the first game. Because the first game really is its own thing. It doesn't have any competitors that I can think of because you could say, like, oh, well, there's these other really good, like, um, RPGs. 
But I would I would say that I don't think there's any other realistic, like, historically based RPGs. Um, most other games that I could think of that are even a little bit similar are, in fact, uh, fantasy-oriented, right? There's, like, magic or or uh, weird, like, creatures and, and other, like, races besides, like, humans, you know? Um, and that stuff's all fine in its own context. Uh, I really, really, really wanted... Uh, a game that was not like that. I wanted a game that was like realistically grounded in like real human history, right? I wanted like a real historical period with no like crazy weird shit. And Kingdom Come was perfectly that for me. It, it scratched a niche that I have had for a long time that uh, has never been able to be truly addressed. Um, <clears throat> so finding out just kind of like weirdly casually that there's going to be a follow-up is is such great news for me because I oh my god I'm so excited for it <laughs> I I um I do try to temper my expectations with pretty much everything as much as I can uh, but this one really really fucking got me uh, quite excited um, the other game that I'm really looking forward to this year because that's coming out this year I don't remember if I mentioned that uh, they they've got the release date set for this year. They didn't mention a specific uh, uh, month or anything, but um, fucking whatever, dude. Is it like a, I know it's gonna happen now, and B, I'm I'm just oh, I'm so excited. So <clears throat> anyway, the other kind of major game that I've been looking forward to for more than just this year because it's been delayed a bit is uh, Stalker Two. Um, I am a massive, massive fan of Stalker Anomaly and Stalker Gamma. I know those aren't like. The real stalker experience, of course, those are mods. But I have to say, the the general atmosphere and and um, feeling of of being in the world of stalker is very special. It's it's really kind of unique because it's not it's not actually post apocalyptic, right? Because it's not like the whole world is that. It's a specific place on the planet where these people like voluntarily go in and and you know it's it's just such a such an interesting like bleak fascinating um very intense uh, <clears throat> thing uh and and the other thing is is like okay i'm hoping that stalker 2 is good just by itself but i'm i'm also like hoping for like a you know a stalker anomaly 2 like another another uh, iteration of that because one of the things i love about um stalker anomaly is like making a character choosing what faction you belong to and and kind of just existing in the world um because i i i find that um oftentimes what i really want most is kind of more like a sandboxy type experience um <clears throat> where i don't necessarily have to be um a very particular person i like making a person and then fitting them into the world um, when it comes to playing something that's like a little more freeform or open world or whatever. Um, so yeah, Stalker 2, really, really hoping that they, they don't somehow, uh, drop the ball on that because I have very, very high hopes, despite my, my, um, inherent, like, skepticism of, of, and it's nothing against them. It's like literally every game that I want to be excited for, I'm always like a little concerned now um, because of just, like, the game industry, because there's been games that, you know, pre-release seemed like it was going to be awesome, and then, like, what the fuck happened, you know? <laughs> like, so, um, if I, if I could pick two games to, like, guarantee we're good this year, it would be Stalker 2 and, and, uh, Kingdom Come 2. <clears throat> now, uh, another game that I'm very excited for, but it, it is, is in a very different vein, um, is a uh, Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 because uh, Space Marine is fun. It's it's a fun game. Um, Space Marine 2. All it has to do to win me over is be at least as fun as the first one, and it's gonna have co-op. To me, that's gonna elevate it quite a bit because nothing is more fun and silly than like when me and my my best friends play a game like that where we can really get into character as like just fucking mindless guerrilla warriors you know where we're just like for the emperor kill you know like you just you just get super silly and over the top about something 
you know, being like basically patriotic to something that's not real. It's it's very funny. It's very fun. It's very enjoyable. It's like um, when me and my friend play uh, Starship Troopers, we always like get in character, you know, to, to just be like maximum silly. Uh, so yeah, um, <clears throat> that's another big one that I'm looking forward to. I am a lot more interested in the other two games that I mentioned, but Space Marine 2 is going to be one of those ones where it's like, that's going to be like my fun, like big co-op game because there's not a lot of really fun co-op games nowadays. Um, and, and shit, there, like there used to be lots more co-op games at least i remember it being that way i don't know if that's like actually true but um <clears throat> there used to be tons and tons of games that me and my friends would get and we would play them right and and it seems like there's a lot more games that only have competitive multiplayer or don't have multiplayer at all which i don't expect every game to have multiplayer but like i want more co-op games because even like the worst ones were still like we could farm some enjoyment out of them um, because a game that me and all my friends bought when it came out was Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. We all had a goofy time with it. It wasn't like, oh, this is good because it's fun. Or, like, this isn't fun because it's a good game. This is fun because, like, we're playing together and occasionally, like, funny shit would happen. Or, um, <clears throat> infamously among my friend group, I, I had played a little bit ahead, uh, without my friends. And then you know, went back to, like, where we all were together. So I knew that there was a, a part coming up with, with a, a tyrant where it, like, drops down and grabs whoever is, like, trying to open the door and it, like, lifts them up by the head. Now, at the time, and this was a long time ago, so he was much, much younger, of course, uh, one, of my, one of my best friends was pretty, like, scared of tyrants, like, regardless of which game he was playing, right? Mm -hmm. Because I wouldn't really describe them as scary in that game, but he was, like, still kind of scared of them. So I knew that was going to happen, so I tried to, like, <laughs> to, to, like, subterfuge the situation. So I was like, uh, you know, uh, go, 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 get the gore, go get the door, we'll cover you. And then, like, not suspecting anything, he goes over and <laughs> picks him up by the head, and he was silent. And he was mad. <laughs> it was really funny. Um, but yeah, it, it feels like there's not a lot of like co-op stuff for me to uh, look forward to as much nowadays. Um, I mean, God, we played so many co-op games. Kanan Lynch 2, which isn't really a good game, and it's, it, it's criminally short. Um, but we still had fun with it. We still played it like twice, once kind of just regular, and then... We beat it on Extreme, um, although he got robbed of his achievement, and I, I don't think he ever forgave the fucking game slash the Xbox for that. Um, <coughs> uh, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I've got three pretty promising-sounding games to look forward to this year, uh, at the very least. The only thing that sucks is at least the way things are going for me right now. I'm not going to be able to buy any of this shit, certainly not at release. Um, cause I'm, I'm, I'm falling behind on games I want to play now. Um, but, uh, shit. <laughs> like, uh, I got more important things to worry about than playing fucking games, I'll tell you that. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, this was just kind of a little video game ramble, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> with some focus, and then I kind of got off topic, I suppose. Still all about video games, I will say. Um, so anyway, just to reiterate, the video is basically over now. If you don't care to hear about me um, asking for <laughs> the kindness of strangers, uh, then you can go ahead and click off right now. I, I, I won't feel offended or bad or anything. But um, uh, just, to, just to remind and reiterate, uh, if you are able to, that's, that's the important part. If you are able to, and if you want to, um, I would appreciate any kind of support that anyone would be willing to throw my way. I've got the uh, PayPal link in the description. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to be around more now, because I realize I, I was just kind of absent for the first, like, four months of this year. <laughs> um, but uh, part of that was me being busy, and then there was other parts of that that was, like, me being stressed out. And not really feeling like it. And then basically all of last month I was sick. So even though I was kind of getting ready to come back last month, I got very ill. I'm still not entirely sure what it was. I don't think it was COVID because I've had COVID before. And I don't 
it, it wasn't exactly the same, I don't think, which I guess it still could have been. I don't know. I didn't get <laughs> I didn't get any kind of confirmation on what I was sick with, but it sucked ass. It was it was pretty fucking terrible. Anyway, <clears throat> thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in another video probably pretty soon. I've got some things I want to talk about, and uh, I'll, I'll work on getting those done um, because I'm getting fucked on hours, so I'm going to have the free time whether I want it or not. So I figure as well uh, turn some of that attention towards YouTube and shit. So, um, yeah. See you guys around in uh, probably probably short order. I'll see you guys soon. Um, take care. And uh, once again, sorry, one last thing. If you do uh, want to, um, you know, throw some cash my way or help me out uh, uh, and you want to get some sort of acknowledgement because you're not doing it, like, during a live stream and I wouldn't be able to, like, receive that and, and like, you know, acknowledge it in, in like, real time. Um, you can go ahead and, like, uh, get a hold of me. Probably through the PayPal message, you could let me know, like, uh, by the way, can you shout out, like, my username or something when you get a chance? I will happily do that. That's that's totally fine by me. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.